Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading, therefore it's not specifically intended for any sign, but if you have clicked on this reading, then I believe there's something here that's led you to this um, video. There's something here that's drawn you, that's guided you here. There's obviously something here that's pulled you, okay, to watch this um, reading. It may be that there may be a message in it for you. Um, it could be that there may be something that you need reminding of, okay? So... Collective reading, not intended specifically for any sign, but if you're here, you're here for a reason. Um, on that note, if you are interested in a personalized reading, as this is a general collective reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, um, we're going to give the cards a shuffle and um, yet again, we're not really going to pose a question. We're just going to see what your tarot guides, your spirit guides, what the universe um, and the angels want you to know right now. Okay, at a specific point in time um, concerning your situation and where you're at. Okay, I have a very strong message for you that I'm picking up on with some of these cards. And the message is, it's time. Now, I don't specifically know what it's time for, um, but I do uh, hear the message that it is time. Um, there's something here that I feel like you've been waiting and you've been desiring and you've been wanting. Okay, but... To me, the energies seem to indicate that you kind of been putting it off or you've been waiting for the right time. You've been waiting for the right person, the right circumstances. You've been waiting for the stars and the planets to align and you've been waiting for things to work out perfectly. Um, and you've been waiting, you know, for the clock to spin um, the right time. Whatever it is that you've been waiting for, I feel like you've been putting it off for far too long and it is time. OK, so it may be time to stop procrastinating. It may be time to stop waiting and start doing. It may be time to start act taking action or it may be time to start living. OK, time to go on that adventure, time to start a new chapter, time to fall in love with the person, with that person, time to put yourself out there and meet new people, time to attract, you know, that soulmate energy into your life. Because I think there's something here that, and here's the thing, you're ready, okay? If you are doubting whatever it is that you've been wanting, um, and, and for some of you, it's time to start creating space into your life to welcome a new romantic energy into your life because for a lot of you this is what that is especially with the two of cups there is a soulmate who i think is like they're close in your vicinity they're really really close but they can't get to you because it's like you've put up this it's kind of like this force field you kind of put up this force field because you kind of been instead of being instead of trying to attract them and you have been trying to attract them, but at the same time, your energy has been repelling them only because, yes, you've been desiring the soulmate energy, but deep down inside, your energy has been contradicting that manifestation or that intention or that desire purely because you don't think it's the right time or you don't think you're ready um, or you don't think you deserve it. So that kind of energy. So you've been resistant to whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest and you've been trying to attract because this person has been trying to manifest you. OK, this very dream job or this very, you know, dream partner, this soulmate energy has been trying to attract you to whatever it is that you're trying to attract. OK, whatever it is that you're seeking is also seeking you. But here's the catch. OK, catch 22 seven of wands tells us that even though you're trying to attract at the same time you're repelling what you're trying to attract and the cards are simply you know they've got these few very powerful words for you it's time okay the time is now not tomorrow not next week not next month not next year it's now it's time to start you know doing what you've always wanted to do start that project start that book start that romance put yourself out there fall in love 
fall carelessly and recklessly in love. It's that kind of energy, okay? Your adventure is literally waiting. You're on the edge of a precipice, and for some of you, that's exactly what it feels like. You're about to begin. Um, look, it could be the beginning of the month, okay? Um, it could be the beginning of a new year. You don't have to wait to, you know, you don't have to wait for a beginning of the year to start living a new life or a beginning of the month or even the beginning of the week, okay? And for some of you, I feel like you've kind of been making up excuses and that's what it feels like, but you have to stop doing that because I feel like your greatest life and your most exciting life, your most like adventurous life, you know, it awaits you and you're ready for it. And if you do have doubts, if you feel like, oh, you're not ready for it just yet and if it scares you, I mean, if it scares you, that in itself is a very good thing because you know, that tells you that this is something you want. This is something you're nervous about because, you know, you care about this. You care about if it's going to work out or if it isn't going to work out. It's a good sign, right? Lean into that energy. Um, but, you know, if you are having these doubts or these more of these doubts or reservations, that's your ego, okay? Your ego is in the driver's seat and your ego is now driving the vehicle. So you want to cast those doubts or those reservations to the side because even if you don't think you're ready, the universe clearly indicates that you're ready for this, okay? Look at that. With the judgment card, there's an awakening that's happening inside of you, okay? It could be a spiritual awakening. It could be that you're awakening an energy that's being laying dormant inside of you. So for some of you, you're adventurous and you don't even know it, okay? You're this nomadic, you know, you're the nomadic fool's energy. The fool is the biggest adventurer of all. Um, you know, he's always in search of adventure and excitement. And for you, that energy, it has been inside of you, but it's laid dormant inside of you. And now... It's, you know, it's time to awaken that energy. For others of you, you're romantics, okay? You're, and you've, you know, you're star-crossed lovers. You've always wanted a Romeo and uh, Juliet type of a connection. Maybe minus the ending, but, you know, that wonderful connection, right? That Disney-fied, um, Disney-esque kind of version of your happily ever after. And you're ready for it. You know, you've got a lot of love to give. Yeah, surely, you know, you've flown, you've directed some of that love. You've flowed it to the wrong person in the past, but you're ready to love the right one. And you're ready to, you know, fall in love. And this person is ready to um, be loved and receive your love in return. So it is time. And there is something that is awakening inside of you. And to me, the cards really strongly and really intensely seem to indicate that there is an energy here that is awakening. Okay. The energy is waking up something that has been asleep, that has been dormant, that has been in slumber for many, many, many years or even months. Okay. And it's finally waking up. You're finally saying, you know what? I've had enough. Um, and some of you are finally, you know, you're going to start giving up some things that just are no longer purposeful, okay, that no longer serve a purpose in your life, are no longer in alignment with, you know, who you are and your highest good. For others of you, you're just going to pack up and honestly, literally set up on your adventure. So there's this energy of something, some like an energy of awakening, an energy that is coming into your life to like to stir things up and it's causing a shake up and it's it's a very look i'm not gonna lie because for some of you this shake up is going to push you outside of your comfort zone and that means that this shake up is not going to be entirely comfortable because you're going to be pushed way outside of your comfort zone but that's where all the growth happens okay and that's where you need to go especially if you want this adventure especially if you want to meet the soulmate energy okay um so it's like this big shift in energies that is causing a very intense shake up a very intense like a stir in your life okay and you'll also notice that over the next couple of months okay or even the next couple of days even weeks you'll start meeting new people or you'll start like new opportunities will start popping up and presenting themselves that's not a coincidence okay that's not happening randomly that's happening because your energy is waking up to what's in front of you your energy is waking up you're in receptive mode and you're responding see some of those opportunities were there before you just didn't see it okay because you weren't ready to see it but you are so ready now and even the soulmate energy that is coming in for you this already could be someone that you're connected in um, with in your life right now okay so for some of you it is not a brand new person it's not someone that you've not met before 
okay I mean if it is a soulmate energy chances are you've already met this soulmate energy right there's that instant connection and that familiarity and that attraction outside of the 3d um, but for some of you this is someone maybe you're in a relationship with maybe you've someone that you're connected to um, but the person has failed not failed but you and your person have struggled okay maybe that's a better word you've struggled to recognize that soul's recognition because you know you're struggling to be the soulmate that they want you to be and they're struggling to recognize the soulmate that you are for them okay so it's like if you want to you know attract the soulmate and if you want to um, attract this a certain like quality or qualities within your soulmate you first have to embody them you first have to you know um take on those qualities so that when you do your soulmate can recognize those qualities in you and can you know be that mirror effect back they can mirror back to you so it's like if you want to be loved well you need to be able to love in return right you can't just be about giving there needs to be this beautiful harmonious balance of give and take you know this loving and um, loved kind of energy so your soulmate maybe your soulmate didn't recognize some of those qualities in you or you're not recognizing some of those qualities in them because they got to do the work so it's that kind of energy but it is time and there's a lot of a lot of shaking up and stirring up and moving and shaking and things are going to get going in a very powerful way um in line of this movement energy for some of you i do see that there's going to be um, movement in the physical sense so you might potentially be some of you are thinking about renovating or it's like i see you packing there's a lot of boxes I'm seeing, um, vehicles as well. So some of you like are packing, maybe you're relocating to go um, to a complete, like maybe, you, okay, you're relocating to a new job or to start, you know, work with a new company. Maybe you're relocating homes, okay, your residential address here. Okay, you're moving to a different place, a place, you know, that you, a place of, on your own, you're moving out. Or you're moving in with someone else someone is moving in with you maybe no i think it's you doing the moving um some of you are moving into a new city you're going to a new city okay you're moving across town you're moving into a new city a new state others of you you're moving to a whole new country okay because there's um there's quite a distance to where you're going or also this moving there's a lot of growth that comes from you moving because you're literally packing up and moving outside of your comfort zone where you're moving to feels new new and familiar foreign and exciting but don't worry because you'll blend quite right in um, and notice how okay with the chariot he's all about conquering okay the chariot um, is he's the victor okay he remains victorious and he talks to us about success so whatever it is that you you have your heart set out to do whoever it is you're trying to manifest and you're trying to attract you will be successful but first and foremost you need to be in alignment okay some of you are you know as i've mentioned you're wanting to attract a certain person or a certain dream job but you're not in alignment with it so how do you then expect to attract this person or attract this opportunity because you don't believe you deserve it or you don't believe it's out there, you don't believe this is real or you feel like it's rigged, uh, rigged. not with that kind of energy, you won't attract no one or nothing with that kind of energy because you're repelling it, whatever you're trying to attract, your resistance is then repelling that very thing you're trying to attract. So you need, you need to reconfigure, okay, you need to do some reverse engineering and reconfigure some of that um, you know some of that energy so you need to completely line up and sync up with whomever or whatever it is you're trying to attract okay you need to believe that you deserve it and the universe will serve it isn't that a lovely quote and don't worry I mean will there be obstacles yes will there be challenges yes there may even be detours or roadblocks or obstacles that you're going to have to jump over hurdles that you're going to have to conquer but you know when you embody the chariot um, the chariot's energy you will be successful okay you will successfully manage and navigate your way through any obstacles the thing about the chariot card as well is that you know back in the days in the um back in the um, olden days you know the chariot was used for uh, for games and forms of entertainment so there is something very playful and especially with the bull's energy there's very some there's something very playful about the energies that are taking over this reading that are hijacking this reading okay very playful very youthful um 
and it's like it reminds you to have fun with it okay sometimes when you know things are too complicated they uh you know we, we put them off we put the, we'll put doing anything off when it's too complex and it's too complicated and you know we're just not bothered with it because it's too much of a headache it's just it's too much right but when we really simplify things and we really break it down and just you know look at it or approach it with an energy of fun rather than work it becomes easier it becomes that little less complicated and that little bit more doable and it just becomes easy so whatever it is like the energies of the tarot guides um the message that they have for you is have fun with it okay life doesn't have to be so serious you don't really have to be you know so serious about yourself you don't really have to take this all seriously okay i'm not saying like you know be be a joker or you know a joke star about it but just have fun with it okay let your energies play with whoever it is that your energy is trying to reach in contact you know have fun like whatever it is that you're trying to achieve whatever success it is that you're trying to go for you know it's not just about arriving at the destination it's also about the journey in fact i think it's more the journey than the destination because once you get there you know you're there you're smack bang at the destination. It's all about the journey and on your way there. So have fun because the journey is where it's at and the journey is what it's all about. So that resistance, that energy, how's that working out for you? Not very good, hey? So, you know, lower your guard, lower your resistance, come into alignment. Notice how the ones here, you know, they're not, there's such a lack of balance, right, in the energies. Like, even look at the fella as well. Even he himself is wearing mismatched shoes. I mean, who picked out his shoes in the morning? Um, and look at the wands. You know, they're all at different levels. So you have been out of alignment with something that you've been trying to manifest. And the universe wants you to come into sync. Because the universe wants to grant your wish. In fact, it's sending you a genie to grant your wish. But, you know, once the genie shows up, and you make your wish if you don't believe in whatever it is that you're trying to wish for the genie can't work its magic so you need to be able to come into complete alignment with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest um, with the temperance card here there is such an alchemy to this card um, and it also reminds us that at the end of the day you are the magician okay all of that magic all of that you know goodness that's within you you know you have the magic potions to um you know to manifest whomever or whatever it is that you want okay it all comes from within you so if you've been seeking for answers outside of you you've been looking in all the wrong places you know you are enough and you have if you've been trying to get something started and you've been putting it off because you feel like you need to do more research or you feel like you need this resource or that resource you don't you don't okay you got everything you need to get started which is you just get started and watch the momentum pick up so I think a very inspiring message, and for some of you, if this doesn't resonate with you, it just might mean that you're not ready to hear this message, and you're not yet in receptive mode, okay? You're not, you know, maybe you're just not, that awakening is yet to come, okay? That's not to say it's not going to happen for you, but maybe it's more of a, you know, reminder, more of a a reminder if you will that you need to come into alignment and you need to work on that resistance energy okay for those of you that do resonate with the message um, it's some very good news for you because this is only confirming your intuition it's only confirming you know it's like double confirmation of everything that's been or triple confirmation of everything that's been happening for you and all the energies shift so it's very exciting and just remember you're ready okay and the universe certainly seems to agree and I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks, guys, for your time, your message. Please show your support. Uh, sorry, thanks for your time and your attention. Um, please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, thank you guys again. And all the best on your new journey. All the best on embarking this new chapter, this new journey, um, whatever that may be for you.